Hello and welcome to the birthday gift. So I mentioned a few days ago that I was getting names and these names will not leave me alone. So I'm, I'm being urged, pushed rather, to mention the names. I feel like there's something uh, that someone needs to know. It's not to alarm you all, but I just feel like there's a message that's trying to come through for somebody or several people. And once I connect with the person that the message is for, I feel like it it comes through then, like it floods through. There's like a message trying to come through and it will not come through unless and until I connect with the energy that it belongs to. So these names will not leave me alone. I'm, I did not plan to record today, but I'm being urged to because I feel like there's a message trying to come through for somebody. So I'm going to mention the names and then for each name I'm being told to pull an energy oracle and then whatever tarot comes out. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the first name, which is Nicole. Okay. Nicole is the first name that I was given. And I'm going to see what energy oracle comes out. So if you know anyone with this name or if this is your name, if you have any kind of association with the names that I'm mentioning, there's something trying to come through. Now, the way it came through, if you have an association with all these names, there may be something there for you, right? Like, I feel like the first four names I was given are connected in some way, although it doesn't have to be, okay? So, Nicole. <clears throat> Nicole. All right, this card is here. Angel of Love. So... There's something being given, love, a loving energy. This is someone, someone giving love, that's what I'm getting. So Nicole, the energy is giving love to someone. Or seeking love, wanting love. There's something about this energy and love. The love they're giving, the love they give, how they give love, how they receive love. There's something about that for Nicole, for that name. Okay, I feel like this was at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so anything else for Nicole? Anything else for Nicole? Okay, so that fell on the floor. All right, and then we have another one here. Oh, th there's two cards here. Eight of Cups. So, N Nicole, now I'm speaking to Nicole. Nicole, the love you're giving, you want to check where. It's almost like it's not being received. So you're being called to see if you want to still give it, right? The Eight of Cups is about moving on, walking away. Because it's not being received, some of these cups are toppled over. And I see... I see your back here. So Nicole may, may be questioning leaving a situation where she's giving love. That's what I'm feeling here. Yeah. Death here. So there's like a closing, a major change. Like this is like an end, a destruction. So it's almost like question if you're giving love to somewhere where it's not being received, like where it's already ended. Yeah, three of swords. 
So that's the message that I'm getting for the for Nicole. Because I'm feeling someone whose heart aches for love. Okay, that's strong. So that's that for Nicole. Let me see if something else comes out. Yes, the thinking man. Oh my gosh. It fell. Um, but it's the thinking man. And the thinking man came out for today's daily. Today, I'm recording this on October 21st. So, yeah, the thinking man, but it fell. And it fell over there almost like... I'm questioning whether or not I should get it. Um, okay, so there may be a man in your life that's giving you information, guidance, higher understanding. Or there's a need for you to receive guidance. I feel like there's a person, a man in your life who's giving you guidance and you may want to actually think about what's being said there. Okay. So that's that. I'm going to move on to the next name. Okay. So the next name that I was given is... Wendy. Uh, Wendy and Nicole may be connected. It doesn't have to be, but I got that feeling. Okay. So, Wendy. It may be spelled with an I at the end. It doesn't have to be, but it may be. So let's pull a card for Wendy. We got the thinking woman here. Yeah, I kind of felt like Wendy and Nicole are connected. And with the thinking man, thinking woman, it can be two sides to one person. Doesn't have to be, but I feel like it was connected. The thinking woman came out on Wednesday's daily. So that's October 19th. So you may find something in those daily guidance messages. Um, the thinking woman, this is, yes, you're being given information, higher knowledge. They're trying to get someone to see. They're trying to get, yeah, you all to see something that you're experiencing from a higher perspective. How, you, it's like gaining higher knowledge a higher understanding of what you're experiencing. Higher awareness is trying, they're trying to get you to see something from a higher space, not the basic space that it's happening in, but from a higher space. There's something that needs a different perspective. And you may have a woman in your environment that's giving you guidance on what you're experiencing it may be guidance that you're not wanting to take, willing to take, ready to take, or even want to consider. Okay, so I'm speaking to the Wendy energy. So this is anyone who you may know someone named Wendy. So the message could be for you or the person that you know with that name. Um, it's just the name is trying to pull you to the message. So the message may actually be for you. You're being given knowledge, information, it's, it's wisdom actually, from a woman. This could be a teacher. This could be a spiritual advisor. The, the information you're being given is coming from a higher space. So you may not, not be ready to take it right now. That's what they're saying. You're not ready to take it now. But that's the guidance that's trying to reach you to help you with a situation. Anything else for Wendy? 
Okay, I'm getting to go into tarot. Wendy, please. The name Wendy. Anything for Wendy? I have one card. Okay, I have another card. And these cards. So, okay. So the King of Pentacles made an appearance. So I'm getting for you to be very practical with what you're doing. Make it make sense. And move slowly. So someone's doing something reckless. That's what I'm getting here. Within a relationship with someone. Somebody's, okay. Someone's not seeing the, the real side of something. In a situation, so I'm getting, actually, I'm getting something about um, Wednesdays daily. So, Wendy, the, the, the energy here is, there's like a, a, I'm getting a married man here. Someone who has a family, okay. Or those of you who came to this message, you may have a family. They're saying just, it's more going on than what meets the eye, as in what you're experiencing, the outcome that you're focused on, that's not what it's about. So this is not saying to Abruptly stop what you're doing is simply saying, take another look at it. Look at it from a different perspective. That's how the message is coming through. Because the way you may be um, moving in the situation that you're in, the outcome that you're wanting or you're trying to get, basically it's not about that. That's the best way I can say it. Okay, these two were trying to come out. Yeah, it's not about that. It's not, you're not seeing it from a higher perspective. That's how I'm getting it. Eight of Pentacles. You need to carefully look, carefully look at this. And they're saying you already have experience in this. Your background, things you've already experienced in the past should already tell you that you're moving the way you're moving is going to end up hurting you or people you love. I'm getting you, actually. It's you that's going to end up hurt. So they want you to take a careful look at it. Because you have experience in this. So the thinking woman. So you'll be. it's almost like you're going to be led to people to give you guidance on this. And they want you to look closely. So that you don't fall into your own self-made trap, right? Um, I don't feel like anyone in this has ill intent. I just feel like a, a closer look at yourself. Like a look in the mirror, look at yourself. Because there's something for you. And it's not really about... The people, this message is not to get you to start questioning the people that you're experiencing this with. It's more to question you and the moves you're making. Okay? So for those who were led to this windy energy, something needs 
a broader look. Like breathe, uh, breathe. I'm getting breathe. Uh, meditate, maybe do breathing exercises. Um, it's almost like bring more air into the mind. It's like the mind is, uh, I don't know, congested. It needs to be let air out, right? That's how I, that's how I can say it. It's like it allow you to think more freely. Free thinker. Be a free thinker. Don't restrict your thinking. Especially if the thinking goes negative. There's something there's something like that. Okay. Alright, so let's get into the next name that I got. Uh the next name that I got, I also an energy came with it. Okay, so the name is Gavin. And I'm getting a young boy. So I'm getting like someone's son. This may be someone's son. Uh, someone you know may have a son with this name, Gavin. This could be your son, but I'm getting a young boy. Okay. So Gavin, G-A-V-I-N. All right. Let's see what energy I get here. Okay, I am getting someone who feels, um, I don't know, maybe lost, abandoned, neglected, maybe thinking about, I don't know, running away or moving to live with someone else. I don't know if these are conversations you've had with your son, if this is your son. There's, these kind of thoughts are coming here. So I'm just getting someone who's probably um, like a young child who who may be considering living with another parent, something like that. Almost like this child needs more attention. Okay. All right. Patience. So you may be losing your patience with this child. I don't know if he's um I don't know, hard to deal with. I, I really wasn't getting that energy. This could be this could be him having patience. Trying to be patient with what's happening. Door to romance. And victory. If you recently started seeing someone and you think that this is the person, right? You may have introduced your child to somebody. So if you were led to this message, there could be, if you were led to this name, there could be a message here for you. You may have met someone recently and you feel like they're the one, right? It's a victory. This is it. They're saying be a little bit more patient. Okay, now, if you recently introduced your child to somebody, they may, they may not be feeling what you feel about the person. Okay, so that's, that's what I want to say. There, let me see if we get any... Terrible. There's something about go slow when it comes to a romantic interest where you think it's it's the one, it's it. Okay. G 
Gavin, maybe 16. It doesn't have to be. Um, some of you, you're getting information from your child and you may not even consider them and how they feel on getting that kind of energy. But the information, what they're saying to you is coming from a higher space. It's coming from a higher space, but you may wave it off as if it's just a child. Um, some of you are getting, you know, messages through your child and you may not pay attention to what they say because they're a child when there's a really strong message in the things they're saying. All right, anything, this energy, Gavin. Okay. Okay, Nine of Pentacles here. Yeah, I'm getting like a single woman. I'm getting someone who, she's out in the dating scene, but she's single. This could sometimes be someone who likes a certain lifestyle. They like being independent. This is like a single mother dating. Wow. And it's, yeah, there's something someone doesn't see about a partner they're dating. And you may have this person around your child. Um, there's something going on here that you're not aware of. And it could affect your child. So some of you may, you need to check your, um, who you're letting around your children and go slow. Knight of Pentacles of who you're, you're bringing into the house, right? The door to romance. You're allowing them in to your your home, your, yes, and your child is there and there's things you need to be aware of. Some of you may be dating multiple people, okay? This could also be the other woman. Some of you may be doing things that even it brings guilt to you Okay, so romantic rendezvous are affecting your children. That's the energy I'm getting in this message. Okay? All right, let me move on to the next name that I got. So with this name, it's also, I got an energy, the name is James, and I got a young, uh, young male late 20s early 30s okay uh handsome guy attractive guy right um this name felt connected to the gavin name okay Okay, so this energy may actually date a certain type of woman. Anything else? Okay, those went back. Third chakra. I'm going to read this card. 
thinking woman is at the bottom. So that may mean something. Um, 37. So this energy likes older, older partners that has their life together. Almost like, um, this energy looks for a partner that can take care of them. That's what I'm getting, okay? Or that they can benefit from what that person has. Okay, so this is about emotions of desire. This person is working from their desires, things they want in life. So they look for a partner that has that. So far, that's what I'm getting. So the issue here revolves around emotions of desire in your personal energy. It indicates an increased enthusiasm So it's like uh, looking for a partner that can help them complete their desires. So this could be someone who's very um, forceful, very maybe ambitious, right? And looks for a partner that can help, that can help them. So this could be you all. Uh, the name, you may know someone with this name. So this may be referring to an actual person in someone's life. But if you are led to this message there may be something here for you so it's like looking for a partner that can help you with advancing your own life it's like you need to direct your energy in a focused purposeful manner so it's almost like either you attract people who lack purpose and feels fragmented. And then when they meet you, they start feeling more life. Or it could be vice versa. Could be someone who is very single-minded. They think it's only one way to do something. This could be a person who becomes very dependent. I'm getting a dependent energy. Someone who could be codependent on their partners to do everything for them. So they come in with a lot of ambition, but then they get comfortable and let the partner kind of like lead and take charge. And then it becomes like, oh, someone starts feeling used. But the person has potential. So it's like someone with mommy issues here. Right? That's what I'm getting there. Um, message for the name James. Those led to the name James message, please. So it's almost like some of you may have someone like this in your environment and you may be introducing your children or you may have introduced your child to this person. Um, message here, please. See, Nine of Pentacles is here. It flipped in reverse. But so this lets me know this is something you may intuitively be feeling like you need to move slow with but the energy that you're interacting with may want to move fast or they may make you feel guilty for almost like i'm getting someone who read nig okay so it's almost like this person is very dependent and then they make it your fault if you choose not to engage. That's the energy I'm getting here. So it's almost like a partner who has a 
who's dating someone with childlike energies. They make it your fault when you choose to not engage with them anymore. And then you, you take on the responsibility as if it is your fault when all you're doing is you're trying to be careful. That's how this is coming up. Okay, this is probably one person's message. Um, all right, one more card came out. Yeah, somebody has a lot of power over you. They are, or at least they feel like they do. They feel like they can get whatever they want. All they got to do is use certain traits. Yes. Okay. So I feel like this is connected to the Gavin situation. Someone may be dating you because of what they feel like they can benefit from you, from your own success that you've built for your life. And this may be, this may be, yeah, some of you who are dating someone younger than you. And you're introducing this person to your child. Knight of Pentacles. Your child. This could be your child, a teenager, an adolescent. And it's negatively affecting them. So... Tell me more. Yes. We have the three of swords. But it's in reverse. So some of you, the child may have actually expressed to you something and you're not listening. Almost like you may be telling the child it's them. But there's something that needs more of a... Um, some of you are working out of fantasy. You're... you're You're just, it's like hypnotized by the situation. My goodness, there's things you, you're not seeing. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles here again. Some of you all need to focus on your children versus your partner. It's almost like the child may feel like you've replaced them with the partner and that's taking up more of your time. Oh my gosh, this is so strong. Some of you are not paying attention to your Hmm. Tell me more. Yes, it's definitely connected. I feel like the James and Gavin are connected. It's here again. It's, it's almost like somebody who may have been single dating for a while but has met someone who caught their eye and they want to cling to it. And the child feels ignored. So this energy feels like it has its own agenda. It's working with it for its best interest, not concerned with the, the mother and child's concern. They want what they want and they're getting it. And the mother is not paying attention to the child. I mean, this energy is here three times. It's here three times. So some of you may need to take a look at your situations that you have going on here. All right, it's coming up strong. So this is somebody's message. I'm going to move on. The last name I got, which I feel is separate from the first four names because it came through at a different time. This name has been coming through for about two weeks now, and it's very strong. It's Diaz, D-I-A-Z. It could be someone's last name. 
that's the strongest energy I was getting about that name. It's someone's last name. Um, and it feels like See, these messages are coming through as in, like, they're trying to get you all's attention here. There's something that needs more focus. Like, the way you see something, it needs a higher understanding. Not seeing it the right way. Because we're out of that energy where we only see the 3D layer. We're now getting, like the higher vibrational energy of what's happening. And many of you are being, it's like you're being called to view what you're experiencing from a higher space. No more, you know, lower vibrational um, analytics, right? No more analyzing it from a lower vibrational space. Like we're beyond that. It's not cut and dry. Um, Okay, so Diaz, door to romance and appreciation. So you may have recently met someone and you may be looking at the situation side-eyed when they're trying to get you to be grateful. Some of you may be doubting a recent relationship and the, the purpose of that relationship is is just to open up the door to romance, right? So instead of looking at it side-eyed or trying to look at what's wrong with it, appreciate it. Appreciate it. And like be grateful that you're encountering this situation. Not because that's the situation that you're meant to be with and live happily ever after. No, because that's the situation that's opening the door to more opportunities in love. That's what I'm getting here. Okay, so you may be meeting people and when they come in, they give you a lot of red flags and you're like, no, I'm not interested. So that's you deceiving yourself. That's the deceit card. Because you're not seeing it from a higher space, the thinking woman, a higher understanding. You're seeing it at a low vibrational space. So I did a message, pick a song, and I feel like the third song, love so many people, use your name in vain. Those who have faith in you sometimes go astray. Some of you, you're not giving love a chance every time it comes in. You doubt it. Right. So the third song, you may resonate with that message. I recommend that you listen to the third song. Those who were led to this name for whatever reason. Anything else? Anything else? OK, let's let me see if Carol gives me anything. Wow. The King of Pentacles is here. Some of you, you're getting actual good prospects. Prospects that can lead to commitment in your environment, but you're questioning it. Okay. Um, you are, it's almost like you're scarring, you're scarred. And you're trying to apply the scars that you have onto the person. Not giving it a chance. Yep. Not allowing yourself to experience something brand new. Uh, a need to really kind of look at things from a higher space. A higher awareness is necessary for many of you. When it comes to dating new people. Being able to see it from a higher space. Okay. Yeah. And that's when changes happen. Major changes happen 
trying to happen in you all's is love life. It's trying to take you to a higher love. But some of you don't know what a higher love feels like, look like. So you doubt every new opportunity that comes in. Anything else here? So when a new person comes in and they're a little bit quirky or they're a little bit dorky or they're something you might want to laugh at and you, you may feel like I must be a fool to even consider it. Unless you're able to give yourself that chance, many of you, you're just still healing things from the past. There's things from the past you haven't healed. So yeah, you're not allowing yourself to be free, childlike. Okay, so you go into every situation suspect. So you never, you never really even entertain it or have fun. They're saying have fun. That's when you change. That's when things change. Okay, they're saying have fun in relationships. If you're meeting new people, even if they're not your type, even if it's something you never would consider, uh, be free and explore, right? Seven of Pentacles here. Because you've been waiting for a long time and you guys are encountering situations that will bear fruit. It may take time to move slowly at first, but it will bear fruit. It won't be in vain. So there's something about being grateful when these opportunities come in instead of running and like hiding. Okay, the date, February 15th, 2.15 may resonate for some of you. That means something for somebody. So there, when it comes to love, to change love, you have to change how you view love, how you change, you have to change how you see people when they enter your life, like give it a chance um, because, you know, not trusting the situation is simply saying you don't trust yourself. Honestly, that's what it, that's what it means. I don't trust myself in this situation. Therefore, I'm going to say I can't trust that person when no, it's just you, you can't trust yourself. And this is about letting your guards down and allowing yourself to experience freely, you know. But I have to tell you, trust what you feel because some of you just may not be ready for love yet. So when it comes in, if you find yourself questioning it in a negative space, then just know that you may just not be ready for love yet. Because... When it comes in, there's something about appreciating, being grateful for the opportunity. That's when you know you're ready. When you find yourself being grateful, that's when you know you're ready. Until then, trust what you feel. And if you feel like, hey, I can't trust this, that may mean you still have some healing that you want to do on yourself before you can open up your heart chakra. Okay. And that's the message. I'm going to leave it there. But for those of you who resonate with like all the names and even the date 215, February 15th. I feel like that means something. Reach out to me because I feel like when I connect to whoever, there's a message trying to come through for the names, Nicole, Wendy, Gavin, and James. So if you have a connection with those four names and then even the date 215, reach out. My email is down below and I feel like there's a message trying to come through. Okay. Um, and I'm leaving it there. I feel like I had to do this. It's, it was just really bothering me. I couldn't, I couldn't do things in my life. It kept coming, you know, do the message. There's, there's something for somebody. There's something for someone. All right. And that's it. I hope you all have a good weekend and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.